habanero for salsa. Oh, yeah. Okay. Good. Habanero. Habanero. Which one is harder, the green or the yellow? Which one is harder? Which one is more spicier? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Green? Very spicy. Very spicy. Very spicy. Very spicy. Very spicy. So what was it for? Salsa? Salsa. 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 Tomate. Tomate salsa. What, 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 what chili you put here? There's chili pekin, some onions, I, vinegar, garlic. Yes, vinegar, Super. garlic, salt, salt, oil, oil, oil and that's it. Very easy. Yes, that's it. Very easy. Okay. This is spicy, right? Hot, hot, yes. caliente. Okay. The white sauce we make here in the SMP. That's the recipe, not in the exact measurements, but like in uh, overall. In your blender, you're going to uh, uh, peel garlic, all of the cloves of garlic, uh, whatever it takes, right? You're, you're going to cover it up with lime juice, then uh, uh, rosemary, just one uh, stick, uh, one chile serrano, and start blending. Once it's all together, it's a homogeneous blend. You start putting all uh, olive oil on a string, so it emulsifies. When it's uh, when the the circle closes, it's done. That's the white sauce. We also add uh, smoked sea salt. That's the SMP salt and rub de la costa. Rub de la recipe. costa. Okay, I will try that. And then I also love your tomatillo salsa. You this is actually the tomatillo salsa. Tomatillo salsa. Yeah. The tomatillo salsa is about six to eight uh, tomatillos, which is red tomatoes. Uh, whatever you want of spice, two or three or four uh, serrano peppers, half of a cilantro bush. What else? One avocado in the blend and half in cubes at the end. Half a red onion, two uh, the lime juice, the two of lemons. Uh, smoke salt, that's it. That's it, okay. Folks, I'm with Chef Donald here in Monterey, Mexico, and he's gonna teach you guys something really, really special. He's the only person I know that makes a rainbow salsa. Rainbow salsa. Only in Monterey will you find rainbow salsa. This is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know the color. You can see the red and the green and the salsa. It's gonna be amazing. And what, what's in here, Chef Donald? Uh, it's, I got tomatillos raw, tomatillos uh, cooked, and tomatillos charred. Also, the regular red tomatoes. Pekin chilies, green and red, and some charred onion and garlic. Right. That's okay. it. Okay, that's a uh, salsa love right here in Monterey. And, and a little bit of smoke, sea oh, salt. Sea salt, smoke sea salt. This smoke sea salt. And SMP. Tell, tell people SMP. SMP, man. Sociedad Mexicana de Parrilleros. <laughs> and tell them uh, what the company is and where they can find the product. Uh, uh, what, what tell, tell them about the product so that I can people in YouTube can learn about the product. Okay. okay. Yeah, this is a this is a smoked sea salt. Uh, it is smoked for 10 to 14 days at a very low oxygen setting, and uh, it, it usually is made with uh, apple wood. And because of the low oxygen, the high concentration of smoke, it's gonna make the crystals look black. And then we mix about 50-50 with normal sea salt to balance the flavor out, and it's amazing. You smell, you open the pouch or the jar, and it right away gives you that smoke flavor, that smoke smell. So this is our best seller, top of the of the products, and uh, it's available uh, in several stores and on Amazon. Amazon also, right? Okay. And then uh, uh, any stores in America, like brick and mortar? There, uh, not yet. We're working on that, but we already have the permits to sell it in the state, and we uh, we're starting a website uh, in English for that. It's gonna be fireunitesops.com. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Thank you.
my nipple. Is there rum in it? No, no, no rum. Just pineapple. Just pineapple. No rum in, no rum in there. No, no, no. no rum. Okay. Just, uh, just the pineapple. Pineapple. Itself. Okay. Because we had uh, so much rum earlier, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's for the dessert. That's the one that's being planned by you. Yeah. 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 All right, folks, this is the uh, probably the world's largest paella pan here. And Chef Sebastian is seasoning it with some oil, onions, and garlic. We've got an apple fire going on here. It's really hot, even though I'm standing about 10 feet away. And it's scorchingly hot here in Monterey, Mexico. And we're gonna be cooking some kind of disco dish on it. And I can't wait to see how these uh, new traditions I'm learning in Mexico are done. It's gonna be absolutely, absolutely amazing. Thank you, Chef Sebastian. This will serve up to, to, two, to two, about 2,000 kilos of meat in here. There's 4,000 pounds of meat. So that's gonna be a lot of meat feeding, a lot of people coming here for this uh, Monterey HEB barbecue festival, Saturday, Sunday, expecting 30,000 people. And, We'll be doing prep day two now, and then showtime will be day three and day four. Fire. Roasting corn uh, over hot hot charcoal. I mean, look at look how pretty it is too, man. It's got a good char on it. I love it. Tribal fire, tribal fire grilling is what this is. I mean, look at this place. This is amazing in Monterey, Mexico. You know the the grill masters sponsored by H E B. Just impressive. This is a mouth hug from your friend Mark. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Una Paloma. Paloma. What is that? Paloma. Tequila, squirt, oh. limon, and it's a, chico. It's a grapefruit soda, tequila, lime, and salt. Wonderful. This is real Mexican margarita. Mexican margarita, margarita, margarita so, right? <laughs> wow. Uh, coconut with uh, root and postre. Oh, no, what, what is this? Uh, is it uh, corn or what? Uh, no, no, this no. is coconut. Co oh, coconut. Cooking yeah, coconut. Co you were cooking coconut. Oh, coconut okay. With some and pineapple juice. Pineapple juice, and it's for the dessert. Uh, for the the one I had last night, right? Is it the same thing? Same, yes, same thing, yeah. okay, wonderful. I saw, I tasted chunks of coconut in there. Yeah. So this is something that you buy, or you come up for a can, or you, you make no, it fresh? No, we, we peel it all, we make it fresh. Oh, wow, yeah, so it's, it's a lot of, a lot of work yeah. to, to shell the coconut. Yeah, right. it's been right. working since. So, so you cook it until it's tender, or how does it work? We're looking for uh, some tender tenderness on the coconut, so. Uh, and this is, is this syrup, hard. syrup, brown sugar? Yeah, it's a syrup, it's made it with pineapple and orange juice and rub del postre from SLP. Okay. And you it takes about what, an hour to Yeah, maybe an hour and uh, hour and a half. Okay. Nice. I grew up in a tropical country so I eat uh, coconut as a snack. So yeah. I'm used I'm used to eating that. Good. I hope you like it. It's good, good. I enjoyed it last night. So uh, you're right, the the key is to get the texture right. Yeah. You don't want the coconut to be too hard but not too soft. 
exactly. So match the peaches perfectly, right? Yeah. yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you, Marshall.